Hello everyone, Andrix Sky here, and welcome to Reverse 1999. Now this is a game that I've been waiting for quite a long time, because honestly, ever since I saw the CN trailer for it, I was just waiting for this game to come out for global, and it's it's here, I guess. <laughs> but you know, before that, we'll we'll have to go into the Utopia test first before the actual release of the game and you know to ensure the quality is like close to perfect <laughs> but yeah we're we'll be playing the closed beta test of reverse 1999 and this is essentially part one of the series so yeah can't wait to experience this first time with everyone here. <laughs> and yeah, I, I don't know what to, what to expect, but I was intrigued by the art style as well as the lore. You know, like reverse time, like reverse time travel or something. So it kept, so it just starts off at 1999. And then it goes backwards in time, like all the way to 1900, I suppose. <laughs> but who knows how far back it goes. So, yeah, I'll just go ahead and play this. It's raining. No, it is not. It's the storm. The storm is coming. Newton Street. Aha! Are you feeling seasick? Open your eyes, followers. It's 12 at noon, and the Rockin' Apple is welcoming the most unwelcome visitors. I'll hold of you a public hearing. You stalkers, stalking me, the pirate for days? Get ready to be shocked away by the rock and rolling coasters night and day. Now, listen to Radio Apple. Come with me. Let's count down to ecstasy. Three, two, one. Say your names, you British government stooges. Say your names, you manus vindicte robbers. You banned music. You robbed traders. Our lips are sealed and we wandered. But nothing gonna change our love for freedom ever. What's wrong? What's happened? Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> that looked really good. Holy crap. There is a huge black ship behind us. We are under attack. Bloody hell. Turn off the microphone. A bridge. Cannons with veins. What the hell is that? You've got to be kidding. I just played a song. Captain. It's the icon of the Manus Vindicte. Oh. Manus Vindicte! Those terrorists! Is it because of my little thing, or...? Oh, I get it. Your accomplices are here. Remember, you are still captives of this pirate. Get them to hold the fire immediately. Otherwise... Another bomb hits the ship. The smell of gunpowder and sparks soon fill the air. <laughs> we are sinking. Please be ready to abandon the ship, my captain. She scrambles to dispel the mute incantation on the captives. Hey, hey, hey! I can hand you over, but please don't break my ship! 
My records are my treasures. No violence. Say something if you can hear me. Hey! <coughs> we don't know them. We've tried to tell you. We're the investigators from the Foundation. You got the wrong people. Ah. Well. <laughs> Protect the records! I see. Regulus' <laughs> ship was sunk. Oh. Oh my god, it's the poster girl. Sonetto. Landed. Good. They landed safely. Caspita, the Ragers are still after them. If it goes on like this... My apologies, Timekeeper. Are you feeling better now? Uh... Or, uh, or are you talking to me? So... Essentially, in this one, we're playing as the Timekeeper or Furton, and, you know, pretty good. I mean, she also has a voice, so... This is Battersea Park. Chelsea is across the river. I sent the backup request without authorization, and you were teleported here. It was too rushed. The ritual was not ready, and you fell into a coma. But it's an emergency. Please allow me to report and ask for backup. Go ahead, please. Yep. The that's day same before there. <laughs> yesterday, we were resisted when registering Regulus in. Our teammates were also taken by her. The bad news is that Manus Vindicte is onto her now. We must rescue our teammates, complete the mission before the storm, and return to the research center. But why me? I'm not like you, and you know that well. I haven't been trained systematically for the Battle of Arcanum, my classmate. No, it's fine. You don't have to fight, Miss Verton. Please just guide me by my side. You are the most perceptive person I have ever seen in terms of Arcanum. And what's more, I heard that. Within 24 hours before the storm, we could ask you for help if we have any problems. Is that right, Timekeeper? This is what it says in the field mission evacuation instructions. You are a careful reader. I'll help you out. Don't worry. Ooh. Fifty minutes left. Come on, let's move. Please use this. It will send us directly to the other side. This is... A portable floppy disk for the arcane skill teleport. I used it just now to send you. <laughs> it's still under experiment, so it is not stable. Madam Z only gave me three. But if everything goes well, it will save us much time. Think of the destination. Name it in the vision. Then the ritual of teleport will start. I see. Oh, okay, here's where I put my name. <laughs> Instructions for use of portable mystery technique. Please read the manual carefully and use it according to the instructions or use it under the guidance of a technician. Well, it's not like it matters that much about what I type here because it's it's all going to be deleted anyway because of closed beta testing, but I'll just, just put my name anyway. <laughs> just to differentiate from everyone else. Yes, that's right. I've seen you before. This name is permitted. Wait, something is different. Your name is... Verton? Or... Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are too many of them. I can't hang on anymore. What's your status? The way is blocked. I, I'm still trying to break it through. Can we go back? Before the storm? Sugar, sugar! 
I saved money for five years, my beloved Apple. And the tape scan driver I just bought yesterday all sank to the bottom. If I weren't protecting the records, I would have been able to beat you all. Don't be smug. Stone. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> Captain, what's your six? Yeah. Found them. Oh, here we go. Enemy at your one. Now. Ascoltare. Capire. Pregare. Perdonare. Ed è subito sera. Woo! Pretty cool. As the light shines, the enemies disappear. Or disappear. In a blink of an eye. Huh? Who's there? The incantation. Is it? It's the captain. Yes, our captain's here. Uh, I mean, I did see like the female investigator's outfit, so it looks similar to Sonetta's. At the light of teleport disappears. Two figures can be seen on the shore. Probably us. Maybe. Captain, how did you do that? You stopped the enemy just in time. Nothing special. All thanks to Timekeeper's help. Predict enemies move while teleporting. Timekeeper, you seem to be more perceptive than before. You are... a Timekeeper? Now we meet you, which means... The storm is coming soon. 45 minutes, uh-oh. Indeed. You still have 45 minutes. I'll do my best to help before the storm. Now everyone. Get ready to break through. Here Regulus, we go. you're doing this too. Huh? Since you saved the pirate, I'll do this. She carefully hides her records behind a stone, joining the team unwillingly. Sonetto, assist me please. The breach is behind us. The alley towards King's Road. Alright. I can't wait anymore! The enemies are attacking. We are counting on you, Timekeeper. Timekeeper, allow me to go through the basic principles and deployment method of Arcanum Battle again. It shows the incantations that have been generated here. Tap to select an incantation and summon its ritual. I see. Tap and hold an incantation to check details of this arcane skill. Mass challenge for the eyes. Mass attack deals 150% mental damage to two enemies. Tap again to select an incantation. Red, it shows our action points here. Choosing an incantation consumes one AP. When you are done choosing, the ritual shall begin. Time mm. you. This is our chance. Lenia Sereno intenso ad infinito. We are prepared for the change. Look, it shows the star levels of the incantations here. Mm. When two identical incantations of the same star level meet each other, they will be merged into one of a higher star level. Tap on a proper incantation to link the neighboring ones and improve its power. I believe in you. We can now summon the ritual timekeeper. Stop me up! I know them, and this is an alien city. Left hands up! Now right hands up! We did it! We broke out of the enemy's encirclement. Thank you for your decisiveness, Timekeeper. I mean, I didn't really do anything. You were just teaching me through it. <laughs> we are distanced from them for now. Captain, are there any teleport floppy disks left? We have to go now. This is the last one. Let's take Regulus back. Huh? Where are we going? Please do not get me wrong. We will not do anything against you. We are investigators from St. Pavlo Foundation. As far as I know, you have not registered for the Arcanum license. Unauthorized use of Arcanum is a violation of the public security law. Please cooperate with our investigation and registration. Just come back with us to the research center and... 
Sonata looks at the sky where thunder bursting constantly. Thunder's bursting constantly, yeah. As quickly as possible. Huh? Am I recruited? Fine, fine. It's okay to go with you, but could you show me the floppy disk first? Sure, no problem. Wow, so the incantation can really be recorded and read. A floppy disk to store advanced arcane skills. So cool. If only I can take it apart. This is where you start the ritual. Looks like just the signature will work. That's right. I heard that you are also a fan of technology. Oh no. Everyone get down! Ambush! <coughs> Anyone hurt? Give me. Can Give me. Stone. Riders. The way ahead of us is blocked. Manus Vindicte have disappeared for a long time. Why are there so many of them? Take them down first. Sonato, keep assisting me, please. Wait, and we keep going. I can't <coughs> wait anymore! Those en these enemies look stranger than before. And even more dangerous. Timekeeper, we need to go one step further. Observe, meditate, and create stronger incantations. Move the incantation to merge two into one. Incantations can be leveled up to three star at most. I'll leave the rest to you, Timekeeper. I was trying to figure out how, like, how to do this without having to like waste time. And here we go. Well done. Yeah. I knew it. You're gifted as a commander. Our AP is invaluable. Moving incantations will cost AP as well. You must play the cards right based on the situation. You've been pretty good at that. We're now fully prepared to face the enemy. Everybody, let me see your hand. Ah. Release! What the heck? Oh, he has a finger gun. <laughs> I believe in you. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Uh, oh, okay, that's cool that I could do that. Like, undo that. You found the right verse for me. It's all right. Peace and Ow. love. Peace and love. Could do that. Uh, which one do I want? Uh, We're just little one. games. Left hands up. Now right hands up. Hey. That was close. Finally got rid of them. Let's hurry up now. We can't waste our time anymore. Please pass me the floppy disk, Regulus. I will start the ritual. Hmm? Regulus? Where is she? Seems hmm. that she started the ritual and disappeared in chaos. Are you for real? Come on. <sighs> A beam of dim light flashes behind the rock in the distance. Pick up records. She must be in such a rush that she even forgot her stuff. We can only walk back now, Captain. Just give up the Regulus mission. If we stay for too long, we can't be back in time. Staying outside during the storm means you'll be disqualified as an investigator. You should know that, Captain. You go first. We'll split up the team. You go back to the Foundation to report, while I, as Captain, will stay till the last moment. What are you going to do after Regulus's registration? The storm is about to come. Express gratitude, salute, and see their leaving. Never disturb the lives of the registrants. You haven't seen the storm yet, right? I... I'm not qualified. So far, you are the only one who can move freely during the storm. Have you found out where she usually shows up? And who knows her? Yes. She often shows at the West End, hanging around Carnaby Street and King's Road. She used to buy records in Kingly Court, and she may return there. Oh, and her arcane skill can also change the light. Please be careful of that. I see. Let's go, Sonato. Are you coming with me? Ah, thank you. 
I thought you would leave after breaking through. It's okay. I have my own mission. Also, in Kingly Court. Hmm. When did it start to rain? The block in the puddle looks so fashionable and optimistic that it's dancing the tide and time seems to never end. Extra, extra! Read all about it! The hero pickle story will be brought to the big screen! Victory blessed England! <laughs> England! Yeah, the hero okay. Pickle. This is... Hey, coming through! Tommy, she's not here again today. I'll take this motorbike if she doesn't show up. Shh! Don't be such a bugger! Did you listen to the radio this morning? Her ship has been sunk. Are you talking about Regulus of the Apple? Who are you? I'm her friend. She left something here. <gasps> These are... Looking at the records, the newsboy lets down his guard. Be quiet. Don't get caught. Take your chances around that cafe. Thank you very much for your assistance. You are very serious. If you really want to thank me, just take a copy of the Times. See? It's all good news on the first two pages. Only comes along every once in a thousand years, eh? Please what the give heck? me a copy. <laughs> it just sounds like normal newspapers. Just, oh yeah, the, the first two pages, they're fine. The rest are just dog trash. <laughs> they're all just doo doo. All dog doo doo from there. <laughs> Sonata puts away the newspaper carefully and runs towards the cafe while forcing herself to calm down. Do you like the world outside, Sonetto? <sighs> no. I am just... I am just curious. I will throw it away when I finish it. Please don't take it to heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh? That voice. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> Timekeeper, look at that table. A piece of bread is floating in the air above the table of the cafes, disappearing little by little. <laughs> yummy. Mmm, so yummy. How are you doing that? You're invisible, man. What? One more El Grey with brown sugar, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the optical arcane skill to be invisible. Now I understand. <laughs> uh, I see. <laughs> that looked really strange. <laughs> Sonata takes out her pen quickly and points it at the cup held by the invisible one. <laughs> I'm king of exoplanet boon and builder. Whoa! What? Oh. <laughs> Who's that? A little bit tea? of her. <laughs> Regulus, will you cooperate or not? Please answer me. <sighs> Your foundation is just an authority working with governments. If I register in, my location will be exposed anywhere, anytime. I'm not doing it! Sonata sighs, looks at the sky. Seems to be her habit before a battle. May the peace be with us. Oh, we're fighting Ray Kills then. <laughs> Man, damn. <laughs> hmm. So, you sabotage my arcane skills? Who cares? I'll just go invisible again. No weakness will give me away this time. Catch me if you can. Well, time to change my strategy. Oh, they're already combining. It indicates the character's moxie. Casting, moving, and upgrading incantation will increase the character's moxie. When the character's moxie is full, the next incantation generated will be an ultimate. Please guide me. Uh. A sword shot. Lenia Sereno intenso ad infinito. Dodge. It hurts. <laughs> if that's what you got, this pirate will not be caught. You better listen up. Now's the time to rock your world. Are you ready to shake? Woohoo! Really? 
now. Do not what worry, the heck? I now have enough moxie. I can see further and hear better. I can now summon a stronger ritual capable of unveiling the useless facades. Damn. Turn your eyes on me and listen to my incantation. Witness my ultimate. To think of the world I have never seen before. This seems pretty dangerous. Do not worry, Timekeeper. I will keep things in check. Each moment, now night. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ouch! Hurts! Really hurts! Regula suddenly jumps back and falls to the ground, as if she is seriously injured. <gasps> I... I have not taken my best shot. Please stand up and continue to fight with me. Arms broken! Hurts. She doesn't look right. She's pale. I'll go check. Furton squats. Squats? Squats. <laughs> Next to Regulus and blocks Sonetta's eyesight. Give her something. Yeah, uh, her stuff. What are you doing? It's the misty bubble ball. You know how to use it, right? Oh, never mind. You just give her something like that. Huh? I need your help. Before that, I'll help you out. I'll see you in the bookstore on Oxford Street. Now, push me. Shocked for half a second, Regulus pushes Verton away with great strength. Bang! It's like a smoke bomb or something. Timekeeper! <coughs> Protect your eyes! It's my mistake, but... It should be fine. The time of Misty Bubble Ball is limited, so she must still be in this block. Sonetta, are you still searching? The storm is coming. If you don't go back now, it'll be too late. At least... Let me search these stores again. It's the same determined face. She put it on before every exam. Sonetta strides over the rising puddles on the ground and runs into the department store. Where to go now? The bookstore on Oxford Street? No, of course not. But to the place which she never agreed to meet at. Whoa, you freaked me out! Did we say the bookstore? Exactly. Isn't it the bookstore? The unimproved Misty Bubble Ball has a special scent. Sonetta will be here any minute. So, so what do you want from me? Oh, poor me. <laughs> what the heck? Relax. I'm not going to take you to the foundation. I ask you to go somewhere safe with me. Regulus. I need you to brave the storm with me. Brave the storm? Shh. She's here. The mustache. <laughs> Fluctuation of arcane skills coming from out, come from outside. Barton takes takes a mustache, a mut mutash, <laughs> oh, whatever, from the table and sticks it to Regulus's face immediately. Timekeeper, any progress on your end? <laughs> I'm sorry. You shook your head. That means my mission failed. Oh. Goodness, what is <laughs> the thunder has brought back her, her back to reality. She looks down at her leather boots, which are already soaked by the rain. Pink rain, yellow rain, and blue rain are spreading like paints in water. The building's outlines start to liquidize, becoming as weird as the lines in comic books. Timekeeper. Her face is pale. When will the storm begin? It's about to begin. <laughs> In 10 minutes. The collage of Richard Hamilton falls from the sky, splashing rain all over her. But she just nods in a hasty manner, her eyes seemingly frozen. I should go. I have to go back. Thank you very much for your support, Timekeeper. Sonetto turns around and runs the way back. The rain. Is it falling upside down? 
It seems Regulus was going to run away, but now she is just standing at the door in a daze. She reaches out for the raindrops and watches them flying towards the sky through her fingers, feeling confused. Why does everyone act as if nothing happens? Are my eyes playing tricks on me? These things are really weird. You can see something's weird. Which proves you the one I'm looking for. Cool. She draws back in haste until falling down in a puddle behind her. Looking for me? No! No way! Are these... potions? Did you use potions on me? Why? The little thing is no longer with me. Enough! Stop running. The storm is here. At the last moment, Furtin finally manages to open the suitcase and push Regulus inside. Look at the world. With your own eyes. Uh-oh. What? What? I'm not them. I'm here to protect you. Oh, oh that's a lot of time reversed. <laughs> Succeeded. Thanks for your help. What experiment? The end of an era? What does it mean? I... I can't understand what you're talking about. Relax, Regulus. I will tell you, but not here. Say this with me. Take my hand. Let me take you into the suitcase. Suitcase? Close your eyes. The, the suitcase is a dimension. All the way down the road to the depths of the suitcase. It's like a portal. It's dark. I I can't see anything. Where where are you taking me? Uh, you know. A safe place. An ark. Sailing in the storm. Oh, what the heck? That's, it's showing the year here. But I don't... Keep cycling. <gasps> no traces here. A good place for talking. These are... Giant stone statues. Huge electronic machines. A whole wall of photos. Please, allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm from St. Pavlov Foundation. Same place as the investigators you have met. That's where we grew up. My position is the timekeeper. People who record the time of the outside world. That is, people who record the beginnings and ends of eras. <gasps> Oh. You're saying that the photos here are... Huh? It's Lewis! I know him! Yes. I took this photo several days ago. He was selling the Hoover Upright vacuum cleaners in the West End and thought photos would help his business. So he gladly took this. Why did you take a photo of him? How is he...? <sighs> this is Marion Smith. A single mother. She was worried if she could afford their lunch for the weekend, but 
still couldn't give up her dream of being a writer. I met her in a snack bar at 2am. Her one-act play about the Transantarctica expedition was a real masterpiece. This is Julie, who once invited me to her house. Her bedroom wall was full of Rivaldo posters. The FIFA World Player of the Year, who then became the mass idol. Transantarctica expedition? Rivaldo? Never heard of them. That's the story for a long, long time to come. These photos, dating back as far as 1999. That is our time. Mm. Our time seems to be going backwards, Regulus. From the countdown to millennium, the explosion of a supernova in the 80s, to the unveiling of VHS. And after this, I met you in the 1960s. So time is going backwards. So the people in the photo, people like me, where are they now? Are they all reversed, like in the storm? Just now? <sighs> Maybe. I never met them again. Before you, I've done so many experiments. In an accident, I realized that my suitcase seemed to be able to cut the storm out. It can preserve the traces of the last era, like these photos. So I tried to put newspapers, mushrooms, Wapalusis into the case. They all succeeded. However, when it comes to the friends I made in the last era, I failed. It doesn't work on ordinary people. Maybe I should just record the time and spend no feelings on what I see, as the Foundation asked me to do. But why are we? Because we can see the mutation of the world, the weird things before the storm had left deep impressions on this apple. I think so. When you were sailing out at sea, on the radio, Regulus had cried out, shouted to the full moon. It was the beginning of the month, so it's impossible to have a full moon in the sky. The real moon was to the west of you. There were two moons that night. There is someone that can see what I see in this world. So, I decided to try it again, for the last time. Ah! Oh, what's up? Is, is that an earthquake? Not good. Seems our suitcase has been found. By critters, maybe? Or just someone passing by? Sorry, I need to leave for a while. Need to hide it somewhere safe. <laughs> it's funny that when they're inside like that and then all of a sudden things are just, oh shoot, we found a suitcase. It's like, oh, it's just an ordinary suitcase. But then you don't know that people are just actually inside it. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Hey, wait. The things you're doing, does your boss know? <sighs> this is my own will. I don't want to stand aside and watch you be carried away by Sinetto, leaving no sign of you after the storm. On top of that, there is something I want to find out myself. The truth. Solid. Mr. Apple, could you please give Vertin a hand? I need to really think about it. About all the things you said. Greetings, madam. I'm here. My god, we get the apple. <laughs> got the, the apple! Here we are. Back at the main screen. <laughs> Alright. Uh, up here to return to store. In our time. Wretched brats. It costs eight stamina, I suppose. They need to be punished. Of course, the penalties shall be kept within both ethical and legal boundaries. Did 
It's a weirdo's case. She knows dark magic. Run! <laughs> yeah, that's about this what people suitcase. would say. Please give it back to me. No! Don't touch me! I'm gonna give it to the officer. Ha <laughs> ha! Kiss my ass! You damn basilisk losers! Jeez, man, that's already really harsh language used there. <laughs> when a pirate meets robbers, robbing is not a good behavior that you kids should learn. Then that police talking? No! Throw rocks at it! <laughs> man. Ow! Oh. Looks like the generation we met is not quite friendly. Nah, not really. If they shake the suitcase like this, Regulus will probably fall apart. Mr. Apple, I need your help. My pleasure. This apple will shed some light on justice for them. Well, won't violate the Declaration of the Rights of the Child. <laughs> that apple turned into a disco apple. <laughs> that would look really funny. Remember the teams provided in the Declaration of the Rights of the Child. Okay, our terms. T <laughs> yeah, shh. You can't see. You can't see. When an enemy has an incantation above their head, they will cast that incantation to attack in their turn. Through the icon below an incantation, you can check its incantation type. And this is what it looks like, I suppose. So... That's, that's helpful to know. Mm. But the counter part, that's what I'm curious about. Choose the critical enemy for better combat efficiency. Affirmative. White. Or say, all colors. Ah. <laughs> be careful, young man. <laughs> yeah, be careful, young man. Uh, I guess, uh, wait. One target attack. Oh, I yeah. can't agree more. Fine. Oh man! Ow! Don't worry. Bye. Weightlessness oh, starts to towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which matters more, knowledge or strength? Uh. Hide it in the tree all this time. I guess it shouldn't be that easy to be found. The situation of the Arcanists 40 years ago looked much worse than ours. At least we can still talk to the human. The subculture movement has indeed changed the social status of some Arcanists. While in the 1920s, there are still many injustices. Mr. Apple, how long will it take for the suitcase to be completely invisible? 30 minutes. This apple is still waiting for the right solar altitude. You can meet with Regulus first. This apple is afraid that in order to have some fun, she might... <clears throat> in order to relieve the boredom, she might make you troubles. Okay. <laughs> Regulus. There is only Echo. And no sign of Regulus. No one's here. The light is off. Did she go to another room? Outside of the window, someone's singing faintly. Uh, someone's singing faintly comes from the direction of the lake. <laughs> Regulus, why are you there? S the sceneries kept cha keep changing outside the window, but the lake and half of the spinning wheel in the water stay the same. <laughs> the records. Don't nick my records! <gasps> the voice doesn't sound right. I should go and take a look. It looked like she was laughing though, but... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Tap on summon to enter the realm of the lake. So I guess this is where the gacha happens. That is cool. This is where Verton has never been. Regulus? 
Regulus! I can't see her at all. The fog is getting thicker. Burton goes closer and finds half a spinning wheel in the middle of the lake, with strange threads on it. The line is... two-dimensional? I thought this game is two-dimensional. <laughs> well, mostly anyway. The water rises. More and more water rises. Water of the storm has covered the ground, but it doesn't weigh or feel like real water. It is just flowing slowly, just as time does. Time? I... I seem to have seen this. It's... I... The line in her hand, technically the line-like thing in her hand, which cannot be felt in any way, has gradually formed a path in her sight. And someone is going to be invited over. Spin it as you've done so many times. Um... What? Nah. Boom! It's someone familiar. Oh yeah? The lake is overflowing. It's cold. Just like a flowing line. Huh. Wait, where am I? <laughs> I don't know, you're just here. But I guess we get Sonetto now. Yeah! <gasps> Timekeeper? Yes! Uh, um, I'm just thinking about how to find you. May I ask where is this place? Did you use the advanced arcane skill of Feroi around number zero 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 two six two six zero three one zero 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 eight to send me over? <laughs> oh, no. okay. It should not be this. Sonetto? Why are... Is it because I touched that line? While Sonetto is still feeling surprised for seeing Verton, someone's snore comes from somewhere close. <sighs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> As the fog lifts, Regulus, who is fast asleep, finally shows up with a rock in her arms. <laughs> what the heck? Regulus? Madam Z is right. She said Regulus was with you. What? Regulus. She... Mm, she seems to be asleep. Well, um, I am also a bit, like, quite... Dizzy. Uh, Why did you all black out? What happened? I don't seem to be affected. Yeah, I guess Verton's like the only special one. On the lake, the spinning wheel is still shimmering. Hmm. I should come back and check again later. Take them away first. That sounds like you're a warden or something. Take them away! The sound of water is left behind her. To be continued. Now return to the story. Surely. Um. Well. Okay. So. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you mean the drink? I mean, probably. Did I even have the permission to use Dr. Pepper in their game. That's what makes me wonder. <laughs> Buying the loyalty of a great inspiring and legendary rock pirate is far easier than you think. Yeah? The lake is indeed surrounded by some kind of fog. Apple attempted to analyze its composition, but was almost narcotic. Narcotized. The, sim the spinning wheel has been standby for casting some arcane skill. Miss Verton, they all wake up. However, Sonetto found Regulus immediately. They're at a standoff in the lobby. <sighs> I'm coming. Oh, 
That's a problem indeed. You are awake. How do you feel? Any discomfort? <laughs> hmm. Timekeeper, you made it. I heard that you caught... No, you gained the trust of Regulus. When I returned to the research center, the committee informed me that Regulus would join the foundation as our colleague. What? I am here to convey the committee's commendation and your next mission. I did not expect that you would just summon me. In the future, if possible, I hope you could show me the incantation. I would also like to learn it. <sighs> Regulus, we are very glad to have you. However, you need to go to the Foundation and the Scientific Computing Center first to complete the registration process. As an Arcanist Talent rated S, we will provide you with the best equipment for scientific research. Uh, this is a mistake. Yes, it's a mistake. A bloody huge mistake. Which star said she was ever going to join the Foundation? Ridiculous! Is this pirate really so easily recruited? The institution Vertin told me is a place where the storm can be avoided. Free use of arcane skills is guaranteed, and Dr. Pepper is even free for 365 days. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. Exactly. <coughs> if it is a place full of serious old men, Regulus must not be interested in it. Sorry for this Apple's interruption. What? No, no, no. The Foundation is definitely not a place for serious old men. The That's where Burton and I grew up. And there are many other interesting people like us. Ahem. Young people! Burton, <laughs> don't just stand there. Talk to them. Explain that. Who knew Miss Sinetto could be so panicked? Well, at least the Foundation is not that horrible at all. I should have more training. Over shoes, over boots. <sighs> Let me explain. Regulus, Apple, what I invited you to join before is... the St. Pavlov Foundation. As for Dr. Pepper, I think Sonetto will find a way. I will definitely make an application to the administration. Fine. For the sake of 365 days of free drink, I'll join you. What the heck? It okay. shouldn't take too long to go through the procedures, right? I've got a bunch of belongings to pack up. Vertin, you, come and help me. Sure. Three of them leave the room. To be continued. And I guess that's where it ends. To the new world. An apple a day keeps the doctors away. Uh, don't think that is a good motto though, honestly, but whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Turns out the Foundation doesn't fully trust you. Just like you don't trust them. You acted privately without their knowledge, but they were still able to foresee the outcome. If you don't mind, Please tell us the stories of the Foundation. After all, that's where our captain is leaving for. <sighs> the Foundation is currently the charity that can provide the best treatment for Arcanists. There is no doubt about it. Every few years, the Foundation selects talented Arcanists from children around the world. They go to orphanages and admonition centers, and even fish out unique ones from the prisons and detention centers. I was also one of them. Since I can remember, I know it very well that I am alone. Until 1999, when the first storm came, I... I seemed to see my mother. So you have a mother? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's, the, it's the line. So you have a mother. <laughs> Damn it. Well. I was not sure. All of us. Our memories of 1999 are blurred. I can only remember that she was placed on a laboratory bed, surrounded by many medical staff. They shouted her name, and mine, and I can't remember anything else. Later, no matter how hard I tried to ask, the official answer I got was always no such person. I have no intention to make enemies of the Foundation. As I said, I just want to find out the truth. All the truth about 1999. 
I know what you said to Sonetto just now is expedient. I can still help you get out of here. Never mind. Think about it. If they can detect the whereabouts of the first one, then of course they can find the second and third. In that case, it never ends, does it? You can't send all your partners away. So you mean... You'll join me? Hmm. I won't lose anything to go with you. Just don't forget the great kindness of the pirate. Uh, <clears throat> oh, oh, the apple falling. <laughs> anyway, I've considered carefully. In this world, the storm never stops. How could real freedom exist? Since I would be inevitably reversed wherever I go, better to sneak into the foundation and investigate. By the way, you've got the best research devices. Wow. <laughs> It's gonna be so much fun. I have a lot of little things to study. Hmm, I see. In that case, this apple respects the captain's decision. In the current volatile situation, it is also more beneficial for us to join the official institution. The Foundation and we, after all, are not on the opposite sides in the first place. Thank you. It's okay. Don't bother. Since you told me about the storm, I'm more or less excited. <clears throat> then come back as soon as you finish the registration. The foundation is open to the public, but it's still heavily guarded. Indeed. Back in yesterday, we were still wanted pirates. We'll have to be careful on this trip. Huh? You don't have to go with me? I've actually got something very important for you to keep. Mr. Apple, come here. Yes? Is there anything this apple could help with? Regulus and Apple start whispering. <laughs> the muffled voice just to make her sound like she's behind the door. <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Chicago Rescue. Another battle related thing. Uh, February 14th, 1929. Lovebirds in Chicago kissed each other as the bell tolled. Nobody noticed the gunshots. I did not expect that there is such a big place in your suitcase. I never knew it before. Hmm. Huh? You didn't call me timekeeper. You're right. I'm very happy to be invited over. I... I got promoted. The committee recommended me to help you as the chief assistant. The scope of your responsibilities has also increased. You will be in charge of all the investigations on the storm and Manus Vindicte. The authorities will provide us with assistance in all aspects. So, you have seen what the storm was like? <sighs> the outside world is very different from what I thought. As timekeeper, You've always carried such a secret for us. Thank you. Thank you for bringing the message, Sonetto. So, what's the first mission for our team? Please take a look. According to the latest historical intelligence, there will be a massacre against Arcanus in Chicago on February 14th. We need to rescue the victims before human gangsters arrive at the underground parking. Rescue the Arcanists? Hmm. It doesn't conflict with the Foundation's purpose, right? Preventing confrontations between two races is also a way to defend the peace of mankind. Although this is different from all the missions before. The authorities would probably want us to recruit new Arcanists for the Foundation as much as possible. I see. The forces of the Manus expand dramatically year by year. To stop the trend, we do need additional manpower. But... Sonetto, did you have oranges just now? There is a scent of orange on the capsule. How come? I did not. And I will definitely wash my hands after eating. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Maybe that's my mistake. If there is no question, we are ready to go. Whoa! Oranges. You guys, come here and help! Uh. Is Regulus's voice? Why is her voice coming from above? 
Miss Verton, Sonetto. Are you kidding me? Seems like our suitcase has disturbed some imps. Captain went out to check, but got trapped. Hurry up and help. Captain, hang in there. Hurry up and help. Hooray! Forced outside the suitcase. Okay, time to add in Sonetto. <laughs> Choose someone familiar. <gasps> Just as what's been practiced countless times. Stronger, stronger. I don't know what. Like, either stronger or weaker, or about the same. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. Help me! They're trying to take the suitcase to make a nest! Are you kidding me? That's quite a lot of critters. Timekeeper, we must do something to turn things around now. Remember what the instructor said in class? Aflatus is a way to hunt in the world. Observations of the minerals, plants, stars, and beasts, as well as our experiences with the spirit and intelligence, let us better understand our own existence. Aflatus is the source of the character's power. Pay attention to the Aflatus relations. It's kind of like the elemental circle, I suppose. So if it... I guess... I guess I have to use Sonetto against this guy, and then use Apple against that guy, so, alright. The elixir damaged when your flight is strong against the enemy. Select a proper target for me, Timekeeper. Use an incantation that is strong against the enemies of Flatus to defeat them more quickly. You can take it from here, Timekeeper. I see the shop. I guess I just... Do I want to? What if I use the buff first? I believe in you. I saw it sharp. So long lives this. And this gives power to thee. Plenia sereno intenso ad infinito. Say all colors. Ow. Uh, this. I believe in you. Sempre caro mi fu questermo cola. And I suppose I could just beat this thing up. Affirmative. <laughs> Extraction of the ring. Oh, come on. Okay, well, it's a good thing that I saved my stuff. Uh. <clears throat> well, I think I should just. I should pick the world I have never seen. Lenia Sereno Intenso Ad Infinito. Each moment, now night. Wow, that combined a lot of them. <clears throat> Be careful, young man. Uh, to all enemies. Okay. Don't worry. Weightlessness only lasts affirmative. The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. And there you go, I suppose. I will pray for you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just pray for the, the critters. Hmm. This will lead us to tougher enemies. I must prepare my team for the worst. I suppose this is where we level them up. This is where you get to check your crew. Yeah, I only have like two people. Today your shirt matches the color of your eyes very well. I mean, I always wear this shirt. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Leveling up your teammates costs dust and sharp, sharper dante. Okay. So now I can use a level up. Uh, 
do it in three times, I suppose. Now return to the story. It's like a triangle. It reaches up to the top and then it's like maxes out. Oh. Oh, okay, so here's where we get our like rewards, I suppose. Writer and arcanist Hans Christian Andersen died in Denmark. For many arcanists, the fairy tales he wrote tend to imply information regarding Arcanum. I like the references. <coughs> the past. <laughs> I can't believe it. I missed these days when it wasn't even out yet. Wow. <laughs> it's funny. Whatever. Okay, so... Yeah. I guess we're here now. Um... Okay. The reward for clearing the stage has been mailed to you. It's amazing how quickly you adapted to this world, in terms of both your mastery of Arcanum and the cooperation with your crew. The storm is approaching, disrupting the order of time, and the future seems unattainable. However, hope has already emerged. The Utopia Tusk reward has been mailed to you. Come to think about it, it's not been long since you set sail in this world. You must be still having fun with the novelty. Actually, this is going to be a long journey that you and I will both hold dear. We're always concerned with about your needs, and we look forward to seeing you reach another milestone in the future. A reward for your first login has been given to you. This is the first time you open your eyes to see the real side of the world. Maybe it looks different from what you imagined, but believe me, you will at least have a good time here. I suppose so. And I don't know what exactly is the currency for Gacha. I think it's this. Uh, nope. This is totally not it. This one's supposed to be for stamina, I think. This one's for gotcha, but I imagine this is like the ticket format. And what is this? Oh, I could claim a bit more. Pretty good. Uh, oh, we get an outfit for her from what it looks like. Neat. Pretty neat. Just move her around a bit. Zoom in. Zoom out. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I don't know what this is. Could be like, uh, like something to attach to the characters. This one as well. Uh, oh, side tubes. Okay. Then there's this one. It's probably like the. Like a tutorial. And then this one is like another thing to do. Alright. Let me. Let me try and adjust the audio for my side. So I will. Or, I don't even know if I can adjust audio for my side. Um. I don't think I can. Or, no, I, I can. Okay, so here... Volume. Okay, turn that down a bit. Okay. A little bit better now. For... for me anyway. Or maybe I could lower it down a bit more. Uh, like around, around this much. All right, that's good. It's good enough. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'll open the cover once more. Here I am. Look at that! Yay! Okay, uh, clear story. Awesome. There are multiple task rewards to claim. Okay, so this is these are dailies. Pretty straightforward, I guess. Uh, resource and insight stages one time. Interact with any of them one time. <laughs> the interact part, I, I assume you just tap the character on the screen and resource and insight stages 
it's pretty neat that they have a collect all button so you could grab all this but there is quite a bit of progress that you have to make in order to obtain all the rewards here and here's just general rewards and here's the weekly missions and I guess if we want to Oh wait, no. Crystal drop cleared. Oh, I was right about... It can be used for gotcha. I only read like the last two words and I thought, oh, it's for stamina. You can use it for stamina, but this is mainly like the gotcha currency that you would use. And then this one's just general currency. This one's premium currency, I assume. February 14th, I assume? Hmm. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know anymore. 1929. It said 9 o'clock or something. I'm assuming it this, this neon counter changes depending on which part of the story you're on. Which I find to be very neat. Waffle! Ugh. Please don't misunderstand me. It's just a little admonition for this apple himself. <laughs> the post on his forum being checked. What the heck? Okay, apple. <laughs> and as simple as that. You just do that and yeah. So, okay. Warehouse. Could be... Something. Uh... Jar of Procrosma candy. This one's for stamina. And simple insect package. Which can just give you mats, I suppose. This one... Used for insight or resonant rituals of characters. Oh, maybe this one's... Okay, oh, I'll, I'll be able to learn what any of these do as it goes along. But... I'm assuming it's to upgrade your, like, incantations and stuff. Or something of the sort. Trembling Tooth. Tooth that won't stop chattering. Use their insider resonant rituals. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get to learn as I go along with this. But the interesting part is the summons. Here you can check the stats of the possible characters in the banner. Here, you can check the possible characters in the banner. Ah, uh, okay, so details here, and this, like, magnifying glass here that you can see here. And from what it looks like, there's only, like, about, like, three six stars in the raid up, while there's, like, others in the other raid ups. And yeah, it's this one's pretty good. Like 30 summons for a six star. Pretty good, honestly. Uh first drop of rain is a permanent character banner for rookies, which includes certain characters. You can check the race below for more details. Every ten summons guarantees at least a four star or better character. You can perform up to thirty summons in the banner. Once you obtain a six star character from it, the banner will be closed. Wait, so just getting one six star character and then it closes down. I mean, generally that might be a good thing. So you could save your your summons for a different banner, so pretty good. Generally the basic rate applies to all characters. Under certain circumstances such as rate up or guarantee, please refer to the specific rules. Okay, yeah, I imagine like you get the six star within less then 30 summons, then you'll be able to save the rest of your polls for your standard banner or something. Um, summon rates, 1.5%. Not too shabby. I've seen worse, for sure. I, I, I've actually seen worse. <laughs> but this is pretty good. Despite the source, including but not limited to banners, bank, and system gifts. When you obtain the same 6-star, 
for the second to sixth time the duplicate will be converted into one artifice and 12 albums are lost every time during press seventh duplicate will be converted to 28 albums of lost uh, and then it's like the same sort of thing for the others except you'll get a little bit less this one's like albums for six and five stars uh, the four stars three stars and two stars are all gonna give you tracks instead which are a little different Oh, okay, so this beginner banner only gives you these, like one of these three six stars to pull for, whereas the other ones are outside of that. Well, I mean, I'll, I mean, I need to check. Okay, so overall, okay, no, that's uh, that's a uh, that's better than I thought. Okay, that's actually better than I thought. Okay, so yeah, there's a whole lot more selections to be made here. So there's Regulus, Lilia, and Anonly. Hmm. Eternity? It's also in here, right? Yeah, right there. Unfortunate that we can't see like the rest of the six stars in here, but uh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, for now, we'll just be, you know, summoning on the banner. Just give it a whirl. <laughs> so, out of all these, probably Regulus, because we've already known her from the main part of the story, so. Uh, it's a five star, maybe. Lara and... Ah. Oh, you could open them all? So you just tap these, I guess. Everything X. in the world is born of laws and regulations. There are no coincidences, let alone adventures. There are only expected results, such as our encounter. Hmm. I've seen this guy a lot, though. <laughs> okay, so I the thing I do like about this thing is that you could actually just go through which character you actually want to see first. Whereas the other ones, if you already have them, then you could just skip past them. But uh, it's my first time playing, so I'll see what all of these are. It's my pleasure to meet you, my fellow. I, I suppose the pleasure to meet you as well. Um, I don't know what the heck that sidebar is. I'm too scared to look at what that does, but mission accepted. Advice: you'd better clear your complaint mailbox first. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that guy seems like a sort of host of a club or something pretty fancy I guess hello miss timekeeper we're a team now if you encounter any difficulties with your assignment or the study of Arcanum please feel free to ask me any questions just as miss saw the bee does hmm. okay the heck? good day my name is Nick bottom the weaver in town. I've also acted in dramas. Let me play the lion. Let me play the hero. <laughs> yes, yes. Now I will but make an ass. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> isn't this a real thing? Well, not like real life thing, but like it's already interpreted in fiction where there's a guy with a donkey head and the rest is like a human body. It's probably much trying to reference something, I guess. Let's go down to the three stars. Congratulations! You are about to unveil the truth of this world. Welcome to Head Onion, a show to reshape your conception. Onion? <laughs> it's like apple, but not apple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me, 
Is this the way to the audition? Um, why do you have a mustache that kind of looks a little fake, like the one that we put on for Regulus? <laughs> Come on, what the heck? <laughs> okay, it's on again. Nope. Oh god, what was this? Hello, I'm Lisa. <laughs> I'm Luis Lisa. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That that was really weird. <laughs> well, that's fun. Reminds me of that one movie, but nah, whatever. Have you heard that story? A magical golden lamp. Rub it three times, and there is a genie who can satisfy all your wishes. Yes, you say. Well then, go to that guy instead. What do you mean, Aladdin? <laughs> I. <laughs> Uh, no, I can't. It's not that easy. <laughs> Alright, well, in this case, it's, pr it's pretty good, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> I don't really care about the onion too much. Uh, I'm just curious about who I want to get. Uh,. Oh, that's orange looking. Ooh. Oh. Who is this? Ooh. Hmm. Do you have anything to tell me, young lady? No, not those cliched greetings. It should be a tender one with some heartwarming words. How do you greet your mother? Okay, I like her. I like her. It's just not what I expected, but... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... Pretty new. Pretty fresh. I like her voice, yeah. Hello. I am the necrologist. I am adept at listening to and managing others' affairs. This, of course, includes yours as well. Whether in the present, or perhaps in the future. Dang, I like her voice. Very gentle sounding. <laughs> There's a lot of five stars in the multi, honestly, though. I am... Who am I? I don't know. It's okay. In Wonderland, everyone is Alice. I see. <laughs> it really is referencing that kind of tale. <laughs> Another one. I am. Okay. Then the rest are like four stars and three stars. Oh no. No, nothing. The name is on the paper. Please have a look. Hmm, I don't know Russian, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, like, pretty cool. Rabies? Okay, some scarecrow looking thing, except it's just rabies. <laughs> this looks really fun. <laughs> I like it. Why in the right. heck? Ready to welcome me. Prepare your softest brush, smoothest silk, flaxseed oil, or something more expensive. And hey, is that a care? Oh, for me? Thank you. For that? Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess he's really fond of carrots, I suppose. Um, Sputnik. Hi, I'm Sputnik One's uh, twin sister. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't know her. Oh, never mind. You're you're not as cool anymore. <laughs> you're not as cool anymore. You're not the real Sputnik. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what happens if I tap? Oh, I can't. I thought you could just look back and investigate. Like, look back, but mm, I guess not. Excuse me. Is this the way to the audition? 
No. What audition? Huh? A talent show? No. Okay, Eternity. Looking f That's her second? That's her second art? Damn. What the heck? <laughs> Dang. Nasty wound. <laughs> Dang. That's actually cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. And it's gone. I suppose from here, I... Yeah, as I said before, we could just keep... You know, like, you could save your poles and do standard banner poles. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um... I don't know when to get... I don't know if there's like a... Okay, so there is. Okay. If you have not attained any 6-star characters after 60 summons, the rate of summoning will rise from 1.5% to 4%. After that, every summon that doesn't grant a 6-star will increase the rate by 2.5%. Every 70 summons guarantees one 6-star character. After you have attained a 6-star, the rate of summoning characters will reach it. Okay. Okay. Pretty decent. But, you know, now we know it's like hard pity is like 70, which is not too bad. But, no, uh, you know. Yeah. But it's, you know, I, I think that, that it'll be, it'll be a good amount of like time to just, you know, get more currency and summon on here. So, I guess. I guess it's like soft pities like but in between the 60 and 70 and then like anywhere outside is a little uh, unlikely but it can happen so let me see here if I can get anything here oh that's like a purple wheel that's like four stars only okay but still my first time so I might as well look at Whichever characters I get that are new. I'm Oliver Fogg, Special Commissioner of the London Climate Management Agency. <sighs> Three hours from getting off. Okay, let's start. Okay. Man. <laughs> Intellect. It's Artist, how are you? Okay. Star again. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> no, no. Hello. Could you help me over there, please? Thank you. I don't know what I'm helping with exactly, but okay. <laughs> Beast. What the hell? When the f okay then, this is a little over the top. When you would think that there are other characters that look like this, but then there's just this one American-looking one. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hi. Alien T. Hi, I'm here. I'm Alien T, a peace-loving visitor from outer space. Peace loving? You're abducting a cow, or you're just leaving it in suspension like that. It's just not moving up or down. It's just trapped in the air. Don't the fool. Panic, my lord. The chasing troopers are also part of the play. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. What, okay. <laughs> Plant. Okay. See Hi. you. Um, let's see. Don't panic, my I don't know if I got all the three stars. Oh, this one's just two stars? Door. I'm Door, an insignificant piece of a mirror. By nature, I'm of no difference to my other 3,587 siblings, but knowing you has made me different to them. What in the heck? <laughs> Okay, 
You're a piece of a mirror, but you're named Door. That doesn't really make that much sense to me, but sure. Fine. <laughs> fine, I suppose. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Alright. Uh, I guess there's not much to look for. They are refreshed every 30 minutes. Every 30? I just pulled. I just pulled. What? I just pulled. And it already recorded it. That's really fast. <laughs> Wait, let me bank. I guess this is where you trade in for a whole bunch of stuff. I guess I save a, a bunch of these tracks in order to buy 10 of these. And then this is, yeah, just don't like only use these if you spend a lot of money. And this one's to convert your like currency over to this one. For okay, so from conversion is like a thousand eight hundred for a multi, which is a lot. That's a lot. But it depends on how much exactly we get each time. So it might not be it might not be that bad in the end. I've only just started anyway, so... Let me look at Eternity. It's always good to have you here. No matter if you found a bargain or suffered a loss. Hmm. The entrance to character profiles, your bond with the character, interact with them to increase it. Tags of the character, stats of the character, tap on them to see more details. Hmm. Wait, the tags. I don't even know what the tags do. Increase the character's level, improve the character's limit, the inheritance awakened by insight, tap on it for more details, arcane skills of the character, tap on them for more details, increase the character's abilities. Portray. Okay, so this one use is gained by getting duplicates. And this one... Uh, gives you a general look on how the skills look uh, inside one to claim so I'm guessing you have to reach a certain level to get insight on here the depths of insight vary from character to character six stars and five star characters can undergo insight three times four star characters and those below can undergo insight two times after performing insight characters will be upgraded and unlock new inheritance Four star characters and those above can unlock original form after reaching insight too. Okay. Uh so you would need Yeah, so you would not only need to level them up to level 30, but you would need the currency here as well as some mats to go with. And Yeah. From what it looks like you would need some dust. In order to level them up a bit. Uh, the thing I do wish that would happen would be a level, like a level number selector somewhere here. So then it's easier to like sort of max out or like drag to your desired level in order to level them up a certain point. Because, I mean, it's not like the worst thing to just tap to level up. But also, it might be a little tedious if you're trying to level them up a bit more. But, you know, just... Just a preference than anything. Blue blood. Everlasting tridecnine. Eh? A mineral sale of magical items. Aquatic seawater, basil, patchouli, ambergris. Size 74. What the heck is happening here? What? An arcanist work exhibited in the 1990s for over a century. Completed in winter on December 25th, first exhibited in Exeter, USA. The exhibit was later displayed all over America. Mmm, okay. So... Item. Eurybia. The Ocean Series. 
Released in 1893 by Euripia, the Ocean series immediately became the upper class's favorite for its artful design and the unique color which is slightly brighter than the Prussian blue. As time passes, as time passed, this color has gradually become the color of Eurabia. And blue is my thing. Well, not this typical type of blue, but it's kind of close. <laughs> uh, at the end of the 19th century, torches constantly lightened up the night sky of Exeter, a frontier town in the USA. The door of her store were closed. Uh, was, or doors of her store were closed. In a dimly lit room on the shelves, there stands many candy jars. The last young buyer of these candies have been sent to that crowded, shabby cemetery, if you prefer to call it this way, three months ago. Too many farms have been destroyed in the Civil War and the plague was not the only terrible thing developed from the ashes. The fear of the unknown future also gradually turned into madness. The candies were taken down instead, the store owners stocked their shelves with garlic necklaces and bottles of holy water. More and more vampires were brought to trial and the seed of suspicion grew in everyone's mind. Grew. Uh, the once friendly residents became the ruthless intruders and broke into the woman's house despite the help she had provided for them, but they found nothing in her house. It seemed to have been long abandoned. The floor was covered, covered with dead marine shellfish, under which there was marks of dry blue blood. Peace didn't come back to the town of Exeter until the day when everyone heard about a disease called tuberculosis. Huh. That's... It is interesting indeed. There is like the voice lines, I suppose. And some more voice lines you can unlock as you increase bond. Uh, outfits. This one's after, you know, leveling up, leveling her up a bit. I don't know. I kind of prefer her first design because of the blue. But. I guess this, this one's just more of like a casual wear, like lounge wear sort of thing. But I just still prefer the one where she wears the blue dress. And... Okay, so where do I want to go from here? Because I can't really do anything there. Uh, maybe look at the other crew members. Um, uh, Do I want to keep using Sonetto? From the looks Hello. of it, Sonetto's Welcome not that to bad. The tombstone muse. My apologies. I'm losing it a little from all that I've had to do. Hmm. I do want to level the crawler just Hello. Welcome to the tombstone muse. My apologies. I'm losing it a little from all that I've had to do. Yeah, I don't know if I want to level her. I mean, I kind of want to do because of the bias, <laughs> but she she gives a buff there. Her other incantations are attacks. This one's debuff. This one's attack power. It's so uh, nice to meet you. I've been waiting for so long. I don't know. Like, do it's I want... always good to have you here, no matter if you found a bargain or suffered a loss. Like, I kind of want to see a healer, but I don't. I don't actually know if I can find a healer. Like, down when you are, are you here to confirm this apple's expiration date? Don't worry. HP plus. Okay, so Apple can give that healing. Hello. And then there's Welcome to the Tombstone Muse. My apologies. I'm losing it a little from I mean, I guess I could level Necrologist up. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh I just need to check a bit more. Uh sort of Oh, I can't change the portrait. I am not head. Uh, what are you looking for? I think I. Uh, oh, I can change him up. Okay. Yeah, I'll switch it to Eternity. Uh. All right, cool. I will 
go over here and continue from this point. A couple of gold coins, a severed finger, and a great deal of wine. Charpentity and black wine. Hmm. Whatever the heck that's gonna be. <laughs> <sighs> Even the tree hold is not safe enough. No. <laughs> we should go. I will carry it with me along the way. But... Regulus? Hmm? What's that worried look? Come on, Sonetto gave me a floppy disk. I'll reach the quarter 100% safe. Uh, run if you can't beat. Uh... I th I'm not there to fight. I got a split then. This is a free trip. I'll definitely enjoy myself. <laughs> Let's get ready to move. The mission is in the underground parking at number 2122 Lincoln Park Street, two blocks away from us. We still have plenty of time. <laughs> Lincoln Park. It just reminds me of the band Lincoln Park, but. Ken, could we yeah. go there by bus? <laughs> Uh, sure, enjoy the scenery. I wonder if Lincoln Park got a name from Lincoln oh, Park itself. It's so cold here. <laughs> this apple is getting frosty. Uh, good thing, maybe? Really? I seem to feel nothing. It's actually kind of warm compared to our routine training at low temperatures. According to the intelligence, now it's still one hour before the incident. Hmm. So this is the distance from the entrance to the wall, and here should also be marked... What you're depicting in the air? Is that the reconstruction of the victim's position? Yes, I reconstructed to actual scale. In this way, I can calculate the position that can provide cover without hindering us from joining the battle in time. For anything that may cost others' lives, I want to be as cautious as possible. What if... <sighs> no, never mind. I'm not worried about my own life. I'm just... It's fine. They won't know. Shh. Someone's here. Two human drunks. Don't let them wander around. It's too dangerous here. The gang fight will definitely hurt them. Stun them now. Just stun them. <laughs> or otherwise just kill them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can check the recommended lineup here. Oh, there are other lineups you could do. To obtain the stars, you need to meet different conditions. Here shows the details. Tap on the magnifying glass to check them. Ah. Drunk man. Drunker John. <laughs> Drunken Joe. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> a drunk man singing brazenly. Okay, whatever. He sings and slurs. Like a typical drunkard, I suppose. Uh, recommended. Dang. I can't unlock any of the others. I can't unlock any of the All others, right. but... Just one thing. I will be home by 10 p.m. Recommended lineup. Uh, number one, number two, number three, four, five, six. <laughs> this is pretty strange. But it's just funny that there's just these people. Like, it's funny that, like, it's just this lineup that you would only use. It's interesting, though. Uh, do I want to? Or could I just keep it like this? But I guess for now, I don't really need eternity right now. Just as what's been practiced countless times. The peace be with us. Okay. Casting an incantation while letting the incantations next to it merge is an effective strategy. That's what I've seen. This strategy kills two birds with a stone. I saw it shot. Tap on the AP area to cancel incantations before the rituals and adjust for better strategies. Timekeeper, the drums are getting close. We await your instruction. I believe in you. So, do 
doing that cancels out the combination of incantations. Uh, well, do I want to focus on him? Sure. Yeah. White, or say all colors. Oh, you can choose which character hits what. I thought it was only aiming at one enemy. That's actually really good. Um, I can't really move it like that, so I have to manually move it. Uh, what is this one? On target attack. Oh, sure. I can't agree more. Ha. Be careful, young man. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Don't worry. Witness does um, only last a second. Affirmative. Yeah, use that one on the star him. falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> that was a quick. Sorry. Hey, I'm level two. Uh, pretty good. So I guess for How's each like stage, for each stage clear, we get like a third of a single. Okay. Skin damage less than or equal to five millimeters. No visceral damage or psi fluctuation found for the moment. Conclusion: The injuries meet the requirements of emergency defense code of Sin Pavlov Foundation. <laughs> so it's a psi cube, huh? <laughs> it will probably take some time for them to wake up. Hide them under the car first. We don't have much time. Let's hurry up to the hidden position. Mr. Apple, why are you a little upset? This apple found a pack of Sharpodontis in their pocket. And a child's finger. Oh, Which no. are the currencies that only used by arcanists. <sighs> finger. Maybe. Ugh. That's just... It's 1929. A year full of racial discrimination. <sighs> yeah. This is also the reason why we need to stop the next tragedy. For the peace of all mankind. Outside the silent underground parking, a piercing sound of brakes cut through. There's still 30 minutes. Who's coming early? Gunshots? What? But the Arcanists haven't got here. Damn it. Let's go. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> to be continued. To the next stage, I suppose. Okay. The Rosa Killer. Clear to unlock the line of slot 3. Okay, that's very important. But I do kind of need to level up Apple a bit if I want to do that. Are you here to confirm this Apple's expiration date? Don't worry. What the heck? There's a sense of humor too! <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll level him up to level 4. I'll just go with it. They're uh, right. <laughs> James Clark. Oh. <laughs> Peter Gusenberg. They're, they're just dying one by one. What the heck? <laughs> Stop it! Why are you killing them? Hmm? Huh? Because they want to kill the Arcanists? Aren't you also here for these Miss Governors? Who know history very well. So, uh, next on the list is... Adam here. Hey, why can't I shoot her? Why? Timekeeper! Rescue Adam Hare, I guess. Be careful with her gun. Seems it is not our bodies that she is aiming at. Uh, probably the head. That's the priority for when you want to kill someone. Which is not really that good. Okay. Keep hostage Adam alive and defeat all enemies. 
No ally dies when the stage is cleared. Uh, okay, so that's the goal that we have to reach. Oh wow, people used <laughs> Lilia here. I don't even know if... I don't even know what kinds of enemies. Okay, so... Using Sonata would be best. Whereas... I would still need Apple. Okay, so lineup is not gonna be that bad. Dang, he's in the background. Keep the hostage safe. It is clear is key to completing this task. Okay. Um Dang, this is a little little bit of a tough situation. Um kinda wanna merge these two, but I don't feel like I don't feel like doing it. Uh, I think I need to get this guy out of the way first, honestly. Affirmative. Oh, I can't agree more. Fine. Ha. All of our roads lead to the same destination. Ouch. Oh no. Yes. Stop it. Stop. Affirmative. Why are you killing him or something of the sort? Uh, I could have just chosen. Could have chosen the buff first instead. Well. Uh, ow, man! Come on. Okay, so. Weightlessness only lasts a, a second. Shot. The star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Boom. Oh, wow. Where is the Ow. Oh, I, oh. Oh. I can't agree more. I know the and this is an alien city. A rather huge. Mm -hmm. Gone. I will pray for you. Sorry. Okay. Not too bad. Pretty good. Oh, the last human. You saved him? Uh, I got you. Please stand behind us. I will escort you to somewhere safe. You guys are also arcanists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dry shite! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> dry shite! <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, he dies anyway. What the hell's the point anymore? Kill. He killed himself. <laughs> he dies anyway, man. Come on, we protected Cast him for nothing. Face. We lost him. Yeah, we did. Is it because the Arcanist's blood is so dirty that he would rather die than go with you? Man, but come on. Life is precious. I do not want anyone to waste it. <laughs> oh. Ow! Come on. Enough. Oh. Those unconscious Arcanists behind you. Are the original victims, right? You were bringing them back to Manus Vindicte? Hmm. You are much more interesting than the stubborn old woman next to you. Hey, what the hell? You are also That's just gorgeous. rude. Oh, and your hair color is quite similar to the feather I like. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I don't like you at all. That's my question. Hmm. Hmm. That's harsh. 
We are just on to the same people. Before the storm, everyone wants more useful guys. In that way, your destiny and mine... Are they now tightly connected? <gasps> None of the seven are alive! How much do you hate humans that you could kill them like that? Hate humans? Then tell me, in this massacre in history, who should be killed, human or arcanist? No one should be killed. Difference in talent is never and never will be the reason to deprive people of life. Hmm. Bingo, Miss Governor. Arcane is or mortal, I am. Um... <laughs> Don't really think it matters. As long as we survive, it's all good. Uh, no, come back. In the shadow. She's holding a ritual. Stop her. Uh. She's going to take those arcanists away. <laughs> Although I like you very much, I still have to finish my task. This is the reward for killing Adam for me. Don't forget me. Uh, hmm? It's very hard to forget someone who's That's killed it? a lot of people. She's gone? What are these? Stock gift agreement. She even left us stolen goods? Don't worry. I will deal with them right now. Wait. There's an address on the seal. Holly Potion Bar. The Warden. Soneto. Update the result to the headquarters. Roger that. And we... Let's move on to the next destination. The Warden. It may have the answer to all the questions. Hmm. Indeed. To be continued... And it is what it is. It is what, okay. There are always trails during the story. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Step on every trail and unveil a new page of the story. So I have to complete those before progressing to the next. Trail one of latest relations. Trail two news. Trail three an unknown traveler. Follow the trails to unlock new stories during which you gain you will gain a lot. A wrinkled public notice marked with the latest news. Public announcement on bankrupt companies and list of newly registered companies February. Uh it's a whole lot to read. <laughs> okay. Uh 1929 uh, oh yeah. Uh 17 Fourteen zero 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 BD fifty nine three, Great Lakes New Media Company, located in Roosevelt Road, the parent company of the Moon Post of Arcanum, does not possess any distributable assets. The debtors Theodore Jackson Human, Emilio Robert Hanger Human, and manager Stephen Sheridan Human. Why are they human? <laughs> what the heck? It's because the others are not instead Arcanus, I suppose. Have applied for determination of the bankruptcy proceedings following negotiations. The Moon Post of Arcanum specializes in reporting news of the Arcanist world with a circulation of over 500,000 copies. Renowned articles include Conspiracy Human Organ Trade and The Witch's Curse. Its parent company, Great Lakes Media Company, was forced to stop its publication in September 1928 due to anonymous reports to relevant authorities and the emergence of radio stations. Pursuant to the provisions of the Nelson Act, this court has reached the verdict of terminating the bankruptcy proceedings of the Great Lakes Media Company on February 14, 1929. Declared on February 24, 1929. Public notice list of newly registered companies. Name Feldwood Com Communications Company. Legal Representative David Klauberg, Human. Scope of Business Media Publishing Arcanum Global Weekly. Date of establishment February, 20, February 3rd, 1929. Name Carl Entertainment Publishing Company, legal representative Vince Dane Human. Scope of business media publishing American Wizard Entertainments. Date of establishment February 3rd, 1929. Coast United Publishing Company, Hugh Midax Human. Media Publishing Evening News uh, February 5th, 1929. 
declared on February 14th, 1929. Okay. There's another one. Uh, but maybe let me go on this one. A memory about the strength and weakness between entities. The deflatus of your attack is strong against the targets. The target will take more damage than usual, which will sway the battle in your favor. Deflatus relations. The relationship between different afflatuses is like the college ecological cycle. When your afflatus is strong against the targets, your incantation will deal more damage. On afflatus chapter 1. Sometimes our afflatus may be strong or weak against enemies. We need to follow this principle and select the proper arcane skills. Strong or weak? Like a cat to a rat. Lobby into suitcase. So it's like a fixed lineup here. You can't see me. You can't see me. Okay. It shows the character's flatus. Every flatus is strong against one and weak against another. It shows the flatus relation of the incantation and the lock target. Tap on the incantation and it will be cast on the lock target. Oh. I can't agree more. Tap here to switch target. If you change and lock on another enemy, the following incantations you cast will attack the new target. Pay attention to the flatus relations. Tank Keeper, please identify the target we are strong against for every one of us. Yep. Um, should you encounter any difficulties in the study, tap here to review class stats. And... Well, it's all the same. This one... Um... I see the uh, shot. As you wish! White? Or say, all colors? Sempre caro mi fu quest'ermo color. Honey attack! An easy job! Which matters more? Knowledge? Or strength? So it taught us about the target switching mechanic, which I already figured out. <laughs> you have mastered the use of established laws. Okay. And an energetic greeting, but you believe you two are not at that not that close. Uh communicate. Oh, so a free unit. I... okay... I don't know... okay, Leilani... Um... Uh, three star, I suppose. Here we go, <laughs> I guess. Uh, is there anything more? Daily activeness? Um... Uh, huh. It's, okay, there's not much to go around here. Uh... Okay, so in order to complete these tasks, I could just do this one, and if possible, I could do this one, or I could do this one. Not sure, but I'll just keep going with it. Uh, I can't, okay. Scorched woods, they are charred, they wept in the blaze, they remain unbroken, they still exist. I see. <laughs> That's really dark. <laughs> It'll be our honor to have the young lady's presence at the Walden. Thanks to your kindness last time, we were able to invent the new potion before the National Prohibition Act was enacted. Of course, I will deliver what you had purposed on time. Yes, everything is fine. No, you don't have to worry too much about Congress. You need to trust them. Humans, they talk the talk and don't walk the walk, but they're more likely to vote for the side that seems more ethical. Please be rest assured, we'll make the young lady's day a pleasant one. Okay. Hmm. It's Trust good the third. weather. Drew is the third, Schneider, Sotheby, and some other names that are not written clearly enough. And ideal for an impressive storm. Hmm. So he knows about it. Manor Hall. According 
to Louise Strong's column in the New Yorker on February the 5th, Duke Ellington's Jazz Orchestra will perform at the Walden tonight. It will be the best ever. Wild, rhythmic, fancy. Just what a jazz band should be. There you go, Miss Sotheby. There's no need to deliberately read that aloud. Master in England has given you the permission to go out. Also, I've spoken to the owner of the Walden on the phone. Hooray! Hooray? That's not what a young lady should say. <laughs> okay. Mr. Carson, Sotheby has grown up. And I am not going out to play this time. I also have the great mission of saving people. Fine. Fine. Just don't go hawking your new nutrient potions. Miss Mousson would be worried if she saw you come back disappointed. Then I'm leaving! <laughs> okay. Wrong way, my lady. The car is at the front door. Oh, I, I don't need a bodyguard. You promised I could go out alone this time. <laughs> what the heck? Mind your manners, my lady. There isn't a bodyguard there for you this time. The wood near the bar is quite dangerous. We must pick you up in person for peace of mind. In brief, after entering the bar, staff will lead you to your seat. Remember, watching only. No alcoholic or incitant potion drinks. Do not talk to strangers. Black Bottom or Santangero are not allowed. Hmm? My lady. She's already gone. I got it! Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, right. Well, that was a good transition of music. Borderlands. <laughs> uh, creaking. Creaking. The woods. Don't call me. All the plants are dead. There's no evidence of life at all. Even the bark on the branches are charred. Hmm. Looks like it has been through a huge fire. Well, if it were not the path we must take, I really don't want to enter these woods. Speaking of which, Sonetto, have you ever heard of a ghost story about fire? <sighs> no, never. Oh. So it is said that in the early 20th century, there was a devastating forest fire in Washington. Those who died unfortunately didn't want to leave, and they turned into dark ghosts in the woods. Uh. They follow the travelers without making any sounds. And in order to see everyone's face clearly, they will... Ah, I can't hear you clearly. It's too noisy walking on these dried leaves. All I heard is the whizzing sound behind me. True. This apple heard some loud noise too. Uh, Mr. Apple? Why are you in front of me? Then... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's <is> freaky. <laughs> Not fun and creatures. Sonetto, stay behind me. Everybody, get ready to fight. Uh, shoot. That was, uh, the enemies of Flatus is shown here. It's like the most suitable ally to fight against the enemy based on the relations. Now, more friends have to come to your aid. Oh man, I don't want to use her. Come on. The enemies of Flatus is in this battle. Or his plant. That's clearly I need a beast to assist you in battle. Well, uh, we'll give you the overhead. That doesn't sound hey guys, grammatically correct. Are you my teammates? <laughs> I hope I didn't get to the wrong place this time. Alright, just one thing. I will be home by 10 p.m. Uh, oh, here we go. Tap here to fast forward to end the battle. Uh, I guess that doubles the speed. It's really hard to tell on screen to see if it actually speeds up at all. 
or if it only speeds up during combat, but I think there's, like, their sprites also speed up. Okay, so... Uh, not particularly much is there. Uh, okay. Uh... Dang, that's, like, situational right there. Uh... Easy. I'll do that. And I mean, I get the feeling that it'll work. Oh. Ouch. Okay. So. <laughs> it really wasn't. Are these like pawn pieces? <laughs> like to represent both Burton and Sonata. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, record on how to make incantations more threatening. Merging incantations will improve their power and even change their effects. Okay, merging incantations will increase their star levels and improve their effects. Introduction to Arcane Skills Prologue. When normal incantations make little difference, we need to merge them to enhance the power. Search for notable enemies to right to see. Fundamental upgrade. Okay, fixed. You can't see me. You can't see me. Timekeeper, I'm ready. Please guide me as usual. The enemy is going to launch their attacks. Timekeeper, please allow me to stop them. Uh, okay, do what I usually do. A sword shot. Sempre caro mi fu gole. And that's the song that I made it. Now, this apple will do what he can. Uh, yeah, you shall. Oh, I can't agree more. Fine. All went well. Thank you for your help, timekeeper. I will pray for you. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> you have mastered the art of enhancing incantations. Yay! I did it! Then we move on to Druvis the Third. Wonder. That was one of the characters we would see in the gacha. And there you go. And then. I guess like this one, and then that's. Daily missions out of the way. Okay, uh, I'm still not entirely sure about which characters I need to level. I don't know if it's okay to just enter in there and then just level them up. Like, level whichever ones I need to level up before I actually go into the battle. Too many of them. We can only take one round at most, not for long. Critters keep coming from the roots. Are they living here? Come again. 
careful. Oh, okay, straight to it, I guess. Uh, I guess I still need to keep her in there. Uh, can I? I guess. I guess I can it's actually. It's always good to have you here, no matter if you found uh, a bargain or suffered a loss. Just like level them up a bit. Greetings. Today your shirt matches the color of your eyes very well. Uh, I don't really want to level Alani, honestly. I'll probably use a different character. Uh, just cause. I... I need to look to see if there are any healers that can. But I doubt it. I know this one can heal, which is good, and this one's a buffer. Okay, so maybe I'll put her in here, even though I don't really want to, but I have to. stacking <laughs> ouch um okay maybe I could which one, does, which one does more this one or that one uh, and I suppose if I can I could use this one that her skills also drain her HP. Not great. Uh, wave 1 of 2, so I'll save my... This one. Uh, but I prefer to buff on the second instead of the third. I can't. Ouch. Um, okay, this one. Uh, Alright. See if I can buff. Uh, each moment, now night. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Oh. Oh, okay, that's, that's all it does. Timekeeper, did you see my mark on the map? Yes. According to my calculation, that's the closest position to the edge of the woods. In one minute. I'll cover you to move in the opposite direction. Remember, there's a slope two miles away that can slow down the critters. Miss Sonetto, aren't you coming with us? Suppressed by such an overwhelming number, we can't get out. Don't worry, the action strategy would be more flexible if there's only me. As long as the enemies are not ghosts. No, even if they are ghosts, they will survive. Uh, where do we meet then? I will always find you. Please retreat quickly. Yeah, Let's like how you like how I summoned you. Sure. May the peace be with us. <laughs> okay. Uh. 
They're all coming for us. It's a good thing. Maybe we covered Sonetto. As long as one of us can leave the woods, there is hope for the rest. Too late to climb up the slope. Get ready to fight! Mr. Apple, how much longer can you hold on? Though it may not sound like what an apple should say, this apple will fight with you to the last moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. Thirteen, look out! Huh? Oh. Oh, cutscene. No offense. Would you please pass me my heel? It seems to have fallen into your arms. Well, hello. <laughs> well, who are you? Why are you in such a high place? This is my promised land. I am Druvis the Third. It's my pleasure to meet you. The hills. Here you are. Thank you. Then I will come down and clean up the mess. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's fine to land barefoot. However, I don't like touching them directly. These invaders. Oh. She beats hundreds of them with one single move. Is it the power of her wand? I guess. No. The arcane circle she casted is pretty archaic. She must have a European arcane background. Yeah, you don't say. No, I'm it kidding. It has been a long time since I saw the arcanist visitors. Thank you for helping me expel the critters. Then, as for the ones left, just as the woods prophesy and whisper, invaders. You shall offer your sacrifice for the peace. Please allow us to assist you. I, I guess I the battle continues. The you shall repay your sacrifice of Whoa. Oh. Okay, so this is how we're starting the battle. Um it's continuing off from what we've once did. Here we go. Boom. Bad guys are all gone. No worries. That's so American. Ah, oh, it's so funny. Okay. Hello, Miss Sonetto. Tactic to disarm. Got new mail survey invitation. I'll fill out the survey once I'm done with the recording. Cause obviously it's not too <laughs> it's not that great to have you know survey being filled out during a video. And here we are. We're done. Daily missions complete. So yeah that that is that. Uh, let's see if there's anything here. Okay, this is the place where Senator and Sotheby met in the most unforgettable way. Oh, okay. Oh, this is how it is. Okay. Anyone offer your seat to the seniors? Okay. So if I want to attack one person, I'd probably prioritize the one that attacks more. Uh, or more like I want to. Uh... Take it easy. Fair touch, as you wish. <laughs> okay. Ouch. A lot. Handle it gently. Uh, oh wait, what? It turned into a debuff. 
What? Take it easy. Oh, it flexed this one. Okay, that's why the debuff was. I thought it like completely changed it. Okay, so no, no. Handle it gently. I'll do it. Uh. Take it easy. Flying handbag for only three thousand sacred aunties. Sempre caro mi su questa cola. A little bit hot here. Okay. So. Handle it gently. I'll so shot. Try for free. Try for free. Uh, so close. Uh, don't be so Ouch. harsh. Uh. Oh, that thing removed my ult. Are you kidding? What? My... I mean, I'll just do this. Okay. Bad guys are all gone. No worries. Yeah, they're all gone. They finally got to greet each other after defeating all the critters. She also made her very first outside friend. Okay. <laughs> Although we don't get to see that scenario, but yeah. This is interesting though. Seeing oh, there's Virgin. There's Druvis, the third, Sonetto, and then <laughs> South of E. <laughs> uh, tactic to disarm. A record on the use of hooks and ropes. Disarm will disable the enemy's attack type or arcane skills and stop their attacks to sway the battle in your favor. Okay, disarm incantations can disable the target's offensive arcane skills. It is one of the most basic types among all the control incantations. Principles of the arcane skills, chapter 1. If the enemies are fierce, select disarm incantations to hinder their attack. The instructor of that course was very strict. I was one of the few students who passed the exam. <laughs> okay, I see. Fixed. Okay. Focus. The enemy is going to cast offensive arcane skills. Sonetto's two star incantation can inflict disarm status. Press and hold it for more details. Enemies in disarm status cannot cast a attack arcane skills. Okay, tap on the incantation that inflicts disarm status on the enemy who is going to attack them multiple times. After getting one enemy in control status, turn to the uncontrolled enemy who will take action this round to reduce our damage taken. Okay, give the next order. Um, buff, I guess. This is an alien city. Oh no, Apple! <gasps> no, frick! Well, that failed completely. <laughs> you can't uh, see. You can't see. Let's try that again. Uh, okay, let me try that again. Cause that was a little unexpected. I believe in you. Like I thought I could do a little bit more, but. Oh, I can't agree more. Sempre caro mi fu questa cola. A ravishing rainbow. Okay. Uh. Disarm again. And I guess from here. Each moment now night. And blah, 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 blah. boom. Okay, much better. Which I, was, more? I was thinking Knowledge too ahead. Or strength. I was thinking too ahead and not like in the moment. So then I thought, oh, maybe I want to merge these incantations. Not a good idea unless, you know, you have enough HP to do so. And if you don't, then you'll just die. <laughs> okay, you have mastered the art of depriving others of their actions. Pretty good. Uh, chapter 9. Or part 9. Um, okay. Yeah, there's quite a bit of rewards for doing this stuff. Okay. So. Hello. Guess later on. Welcome to the Tombstone Museum. My apologies. 
Greetings. Today your shirt matches the color of- It's always good to have you here. No matter if you found a bargain or suffered a loss. Yeah, she sacrifices her HP for damage. Oh man, that's... I don't know how to feel about that. Um, but I guess at the very least, they get a lot of... Uh, I guess at the very least they get, you know, debuffed in a way that is very effective. Hmm. I wish I could do a bit more, but it's because she <laughs> she risks her no health. Hello. And then there's Welcome to the her. My apologies. I'm losing it a little from all that I've had to do. Does not die after taking lethal damage. Dang, that's that sounds good. What the heck? Are you here to confirm this apple's expiration date? Don't worry. Like apple seems to be the one that heals a lot. Whereas necrologist Hello. does Welcome that kind of thing tombstone. with her ult. Hello. Welcome to the tombstone uh, music. My apologies. Dispels all stats up. I'm and losing it a little from oh, all this that one like takes to. away their buffs. Uh, this one just does more damage, and... Oh, look, the, the flavor text of it. People are afraid of her arrival, as they dislike death, or until death arrives first. <laughs> hmm. I just wonder about how, like, these, like, f ultimate arc... Canis, like art incantations work. I wonder how it works at all. Like, does it randomly spawn in, or does it just, or did it come in like at a fixed rate? I wonder. Um, but for now, I'll just keep leveling up these characters. Are you here to confirm this apple's expiration date? Don't worry. Oh yeah, I forgot I got, like, hmm. copies. Okay. Oh. Okay. And... who else? No, I got oh, you a lot. Or just another time. Okay. So... Scroll down a bit... Hello, Curious. Or just keep the moment like, you step on the stage. First, just to be sure. Oh, hey! Aloha! Are you Aloha. here? Aloha! No. Please take a seat. You are granted an audience with the Dali. I don't even know Hello. who this person is. Take a seat. Like that's it? She and her great dream in the dust. I don't know why she's dressed as a man, but okay. It's fine. Uh, I'm coming. Guess that's. No, I swear I had a little bit more, but I guess it's fine. Uh, I guess it's fine. Uh come in. It's fine. Just be careful not to be eaten by them. The wolves? <laughs> okay, I suppose. Uh where's the the I'm Russian man? Not writing poems. I don't know why he sort of stutters like that. There has to be like a, an explanation for that. Uh, but more on that later. Uh, for now, I'll be ending part one right here. Quite a lengthy video, I'd say. But 
I guess this is like the most important part of it because it's like introducing a lot of the main mechanics of the game. Whereas like I guess if it goes on then it would just keep going and going. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have a let's see if I can me to be well informed. No matter the dead or alive, you can have your answer from me as long as the pay is adequate. But just like anyone with a clear mind won't touch a hot potato, I suggest you keep your little nose clean. Uh, your foundation is really a pain in the neck, my child. They had a grudge against me because of the special invisibility cloak. And the feud still continues today. But in my defense, they had a seven-day warranty. What else do they want? Or they can just give it a try, you buy one more. Okay. I wonder how many times you could interact with to gain a the characters. These times is no better I guess like unlimited a amount before the you can't. Cake, but what really matters is a good mind and a clear view of the time. I wonder how much that it's gained me. It's like two percent. <laughs> it's like two percent, I guess. And eight hundred eighty. I used to be like at three hundred or something. Now I have a lot, like a lot more, I guess. So yeah, pretty good from like the amount of time I spent. So it's not that bad in the end. And we wouldn't have to worry about. Uh, what limited banners appear because this is CBT and there's really not much to go around with banners so you could just basically do whatever you want with uh, your currency you just summon on the standard banners because that's basically all you'll do but in the case that they do release limited banners yeah of course you would save up for those instead but for CVT, it's completely fine to spend it on this banner. So, yeah, that's pretty much all. And the okay, this will be the actual end of this like video. I'll record a part two of this, but I don't know if it'll be directly like after, <laughs> like directly after this one, or if I'll just like play off the side again. And then just record like from there but who knows I definitely like the game so far it'll be a little bit more interesting as time goes on so yeah I'll be yeah I'll just keep recording this game in particular until well yeah basically until I uh, get to the very end of the demo so yeah that'll be that'll be it uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time, if I'm streaming or if I'm recording again with this one. Alright, uh, goodbye!